Hello everyone, Dylan or Dilday is here with with my first Lego Star Wars Summer 2022 review and this one is on Obi-Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader and also my first uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series set review. <clears throat> if there ever, well first if there ever gets to be any, but we'll see. So on the front of the box here have that in same kind of border design as we've seen since the beginning of the year, but in now which with a bright blue strip and Obi Wan and Vader, Darth Vader there, since represent to represent that it's Obi Wan of course, Obi Wan and Ser Kenobi series of course. See a picture of every the whole battle going on, all four minifigs included, and age recommendation is eight and up. Set number seven five three three four has. 408 pieces <clears throat> on the back see a nice little diorama of everything going on and also both all the features of it to Disney logo StarWars.com of course and yeah that's it with that and now onto the instruction manual of which different picture than on the front of the box which is the common thing of this current wave but yeah and also how they're transitioning to paper bags, of course. <clears throat> but on the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Which is three pages and the three Obi-Wan Kenobi series sets of this current wave. And expect review of this one pretty soon. And then add for all of the summer 2022 set so of course and so expect reviews on these three you know, on this 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 and that uh, pretty soon and of course and last step of course So, on to the minifigs. First of which is the all new exclusive version, or all new version of Obi Wan Kenobi for this show, of course, but a little different in the Inquisitor transport site, which you'll see in that review. But although uh, the torso print leg printing, all quite similar to what we've had with other versions, so which, and of course, wielding the blue lightsaber and all new unique hair piece to it, which does look kind of like a mullet a bit, which you can, and of course you can definitely use that on some special custom figs for making mullets and all, giving them a mullet and whatnot, but yeah. And next to which is Darth Vader, of which quite similar to ones that we've had in the last few years and, and also like in the last few years has a side arm printing, of course. Really it's good to see that in this set, of course. But besides that, the torso print, leg printing, all done quite good. And the helmet piece of which, same as it's been since 2015, where it's two separate pieces. And also the face print of which, uh, a little bit different than a few recent versions, of course. And of course, although what would have been, been extra cool for this set is Maybe include, maybe do an exclusive version of this uh, helmet piece with it cracked off a bit, showing the Sith eye of him. And, uh, whatever. <coughs> and next to which is the new droid Ned B, of which a quite cool one with a nice uh, yellow, black, and bright blue color scheme with. And also, so it does have some nice leg printing, and also underneath this torso piece here, not at all any printing on it, just for this uh, head torso combination piece, which they do from time to time. But aside from that, all the printings for that and for the head, all done great. Which, which well captures its 
his in-show appearance, of course. And he's, of course, holding this interesting tool, or hammer-like tool, which, with the unique uh, uh, hilt piece and the roller skate, roller skate piece, and also that odd double end piece like we've seen with the uh, uh, Mandalorian Starfighter from last year. Or, uh, or quite nice to see there. And last of which we have Tala Durath, the new Imperial Officer droid, but at least the torso printing and the cap piece like we've seen with a lot of Imperial Officers. But, in, but Although the face print of which is exclusive to that. But although what I think this figure should have had is let it be a dual mold the, the hair hat combo piece to represent her long hair that she oftentimes has. But, but and and why this outfit? I don't get. It. Like since she in this scene in the show just didn't have this outfit on. But although that maybe that would be in a different set. But maybe that it just didn't think it too well or, or whatever yeah and on the back so for their back torso print things of which well Ned B has one that is just a curved slope piece but and if you wonder is it a sticker no it's actually printed of which nice to see there and as for the back torso printing of all the rest of the figs, at least done quite fairly. And will Obi Wan Darth Vader? Well, just Obi Wan, unique back or double side face, a more angry kind of look to it, kind of suiting to this uh, sequence in the show, and also good back head printing for Darth Vader, of course. And although for this minifig selection, I think they also could have included a uh, young Princess Leia, also kind of around in scenes that in the for this sequence in the show, but or maybe that would would have been a little much, but yeah. And that's about it with the minifig selection. <clears throat> now on to the main set itself. And now, if you're wondering what this is from, what it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like a little section of Tatooine. Well, Tatooine at nighttime, which is why there's the light gray and black, dark gray for that. But, and you, if you're wondering what that is for, which I'll go over later. Although, not, of course, like this at nighttime, but whereas Tatooine at daytime is, of course, like, uh, light tan and dark tan, which I think they should have had it with this well, well that which could have been not a lot better to help brighten it up a bit, but and of course, probably, but since it was nighttime, probably stuck with this sort of, but yeah <coughs> so from one side of which you know, let me zoom up and see just a lot of jagged sloping or jagged slopes stacked on top of each other all around it. And also do have this like pulled piece, which might be another moisture evaporator, but I'm not sure, but yeah. And see it hit standing on aspirant droid head and the two candle pieces and the lightsaber hilt and another one of those uh, odd uh, bar pieces. So, well, good to see there. Great to have for mocking, and yeah. And then, as for this and one mount, and this one found the witch, which is, is of a few jagged slopes, well, it's actually a spot where you can fit Tala onto. Like, have her stand on that jumper, of course, and got her in her uh, standing shooting position. But as for the middle section, which as if you can if you can tell in the through the, 
the studs is where you can fit both your Obi-Wan and Darth Vader minifigs onto and you just place your fingers on it and have them flash. So this is quite similar to that of the 2020 Dulan Mustafar set, but and of course this is this is a much lot larger version of that. And also included with the set is a couple of clear uh, cylinder pieces for your Obi-Wan fig to stand up like he's about to jump off and probably land on this platform here and for him to once to again say, I got the high grounds. As for this part in the back, well, if you like flip this airplane panel piece up, you then get off a few of these like red or clear orange cheese slopes representing flames in it with the wheel pieces and dish pieces in trans orange. And throughout some of this set, you do see plenty of the cheese slopes in trans orange representing fire on it. So now, for these bits here, well, there's two features, including them. <laughs> Where if you press on this one, which it makes this crate section just dump, jump, just bars right up. And also, of course, makes the uh, G-slopes uh, jump right off, of course. And these crate bits, which do have those like hinge pieces there for this randomly. And whereas for this cart area, cart kind of thing, done pretty well, -y. like good snot around, and also red studs for light, of course, and also those grilled pieces acting as the bonk part, of course. And so now, the actual main feature of this, if I zoom out a bit, is that if you pull on this and a little row of jagged slope, or I mean of cheese slopes, come up and they represent the strip of fire that gets set on in this sequence, which nice to see there. Of course, good surprise feature, of course. And so now. So there's plenty of good stuff going on. And yeah. And so now. Oh, whoops. Okay. So now to the final verdict. Oh, and also. To like reset it, just pull it back and push it down. But make sure you're holding on the knob back there to secure it down. Yeah. Okay, so now on to the final verdict. So overall, this I think a, a alright set. Well, as everyone says, it's not that exciting at all. Well, to and I kind of do see why, like, how it's like a little section of land or whatever, but at least it does have just a couple of features, and whereas, and of course the main incentive is the minifigs, like exclusive version of Obi-Wan and Ned B and whatnot. And, and of course, if you are looking to get this for whatever reason, probably just get it to have a little bit of extra plates and slopes for your mocks, of course. And also if you line but also if you remember this sequence in the show, there is some like a uh, railing kind of towering around it. Well, I think that could have been the set or maybe alongside part of the set, but whatever. Although you can add that in if you wanted, but yeah. But whereas for the size for price, uh Kind of steep, but of course, this summer Lego prices have kind of increased a bit. But yeah, so is this kind of worth it? 
yeah, I think it's kind of worth it, unless if you were to wait for it to be on sale and whatnot, but yeah. And so now, if you're, and so now, if you're looking to start your collection of Obi-Wan Kenobi sets, definitely pick this up. And if you are looking to get this set and add it to your Disney Plus Star Wars display, well, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it for this video. And also, if you want to get some extra plates for your mocks, again, also pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.